Section 5, words and expressions commonly misused. This is The Elements of Style by William Strunk. Let's jump through it. All right. Idiomatic and familiar speech is attached praise in the sense agreed or go ahead. Another use is better avoided. Always written as two words. This is news to me. Always written as two words. I use a lot of times wrote it A L R I G H T period or exclamation point, especially in dialogue. Um, he's saying it's always written as two words. And, you know, language definitely evolves and in some cases devolves, but, um, you know, the lexicon changes in popular uses uh change and it's very fluid so you know one you know some some folks might agree that this is you know passe and this isn't um or that you know this is used commonly and this you know or it, sh it shouldn't be or it should be you know a lot of it's subjective but by and large a lot of these rules um you know you you really just want to look at the venue and also you know what folks around you are saying what you're seeing um, around you professionally. Um, and when it comes to academic writing, I would never use the word all right. Unless I was literally quoting somebody, like a character in a movie that I'm writing about um, in my film criticism class or, you know, a character in, in a book that I'm, I'm writing about in my literary uh, uh, criticism class, my English class. So, but yeah, this is news. Always written as two words. Um, and other uses better avoided as good or better than my opinion is as good or better than his bad interesting my opinion is as good as his or better if not better as good as his if not better so you want to you don't want to use is as good or better than his without these these comments without separating them interesting as to whether Weather is su sufficient. So let's look at Rule 13, where it says, "Omit needless words." Um, many expressions in common use violate this principle right here. The question as to whether or not blank. You just want to change it. This, you know, whether or not blank. Well, the question whether or not blank. So you don't you don't want to over, over, um, you know, overuse words. Um, you want to omit needless words. So that's pretty interesting. And again, it has to do with just distilling, you know, distilling the essence of what you're trying to communicate, being clear and concise. Um, bid takes the infinitive without to, to bid. Um, the past tense in the sense ordered is is bade. Um, you know, uh, so you, you're not going to say to bid, you're just going to say bid. Uh, but I have no doubt, but that blank... I have no doubt that blank. So that's bad. Bad construction, good construction, or worse construction, better construction. He cannot help but he cannot help see but that blank. He cannot help seeing that blank. So it's these are extraneous. The too frequent use of but as a conjunction leads to the fault discussed under Rule 14. Let's check out Rule 14. They avoid a succession of loose sentences. We have um, we have sentences uh, here where we talk about that um, as a previous video. Um, particularly awkward is the following of one but by another, making a contrast to a contrast or a reservation to a reservation. This is easily easily corrected by rearrangement. So again, left left side is worse, and the right side is better. So America had vast resources, but she seemed almost wholly unprepared for war, period. But within a year, she had created an army of 4 million men. America seemed almost wholly unprepared for war, comma, but she had vast resources, period. Within a year, she had created an army of 4 million men. That makes sense. That really makes sense. Um, and it also makes sense why it's better. Here, the comma, but... But she seemed almost blah blah, and then but again, it seems really redundant. It seems very uh, it seems like there could be a dramatic improvement if you change the wording of the sentence. And again, this is where patience and persistence comes into play, um, and practice all the P's, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious when you know when you put these 
these conjunctions in you know too close you know to one another geographically in the sentence or the succession of sentences you know it, it stands out and it, it there there's probably a much better construction and this is definitely a much better construction america seemed almost wholly unprepared for war comma but she had vast resources period within a year she had created an army of four million men period very clear concise um and uh yeah i think the reader will like that if you keep doing that all throughout your essay the reader is going to be very very happy and that generally is going to bode well for communicating your thoughts um and resonating with the reader but also uh if you're looking for a grade um you might be able to earn that high mark so yeah that was uh a and b um the ones a's and b's uh, words and expressions commonly misused and we'll go down the alphabet uh in future videos thank you very much